How's it going Star Wars fans? Hope you're doing well. Um, just wanted to do a little bit of a video today going over the new retro collection figures from Hasbro. Um, I picked these up last weekend on May the 4th uh, from Zing Pop Culture. Um, there was a bit of drama with that in itself, um, being that each store was only getting one, one case allocation to it. Um, luckily I live in a small town where people aren't going to go and flock to first thing in the morning, so I was able to go and pick my set up, and I'm really glad to do. Really glad to have done so. Um, I was a little skeptical about this line when they announced it, um, but it's it's cool enough. I'm going to keep them in the in the packages. I'm not going to take them out and mix them in with my true vintage figures. Um, but what Hasbro's done, they've done enough to to differentiate them from the vintage, from the real vintage stuff. So that you know, people aren't going to get these mixed up in the future and. Um, try and sell, you know, bits of these as vintage stuff when they're not true vintage. There's enough different things about them. Um, plus they look kind of cool on the cards. Um, the stickers would have been nice if they were easily removable, but I'm going to keep the stickers on there just, again, to differentiate the line from true vintage and I just want to keep this as the collection stands. Um, so I thought I'd give a bit of an overview and have a quick look at each of them. Um, so we'll start here, we've got Chewbacca. Now, uh, the, the real Chewbacca stands taller than this one. Um, he stands probably more just above the height of the bubble. So, again, while they have sort of done some slight re-sculpting, um, they've just really tried to capture that same vibe as the original. Um, but it is a new sculpt, a lot like what they did with the uh, with the rocket firing Boba Fett they released as part of uh, the vintage collection uh, back in 2010. So that was it was a complete re-sculpt. It was based on the original Boba Fett, um, but they did their own spin on it, and I think that's a good thing for this. Um, I, I like the worn look of the cards. Um, I thought I think it looks I think it looked kind of neat. Um, on the back, it says the Star Wars Retro Collection is inspired by 1970s Star Wars figures and features original figure design and detailing. Continue your collection from the galaxy far, far away. So, you know, all the backs are the same for the most for the, mo for the moment. Um, I should be getting the Tarkin Death Star board game set this week, so I might do a video overview when I get that. Um, I will have two, so I will be opening one of those Tarkins. There's Chewbacca. Now look at Han. I feel like this would have been a perfect um, release for the 40th anniversary uh, back in 2017, even 2018, being that the original figures didn't actually come out till 78. Um, I think it would have been a nice. A nice tie-in with the 40th anniversary, to be honest. I think it would have been good. They've gone with the uh, the big head Han. I believe he was the original, and then the little head Han came out later. I'm not 100% sure on that story. But, uh... We'll go to Leia. So if you're familiar with the vintage stuff, you'll know that they are quite a little bit different. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure people are going to try and, you know, screw the system and try and sell this stuff online as vintage, vintage. Um, but good luck to them. They're all stamped with 2018 or 19 on them. Um, and it wouldn't take a lot to research the differences. So there's Leia. Look at Vader. I did initially just look at buying the two. Um, I wanted to just buy Vader and Luke. Um, but looking at them all in person, I decided to grab the lot. Um, I just thought it was a neat set and I've no doubt we'll be getting more in the future. Hopefully 3PO and R2, uh, Tusken Raider, Jawa. Hopefully they finish the first 12. Ben Kenobi, uh, 
Death Squad Commander. That would be pretty cool. And the Jawa, of course. Not sure if I mentioned that. But they just look nice in the packaging. I like that the bubbles are subtle. They're not. They're quite shallow. Um, they're all the same. They're all the same size. It just look. They just aesthetically pleasing to me. <laughs> anyway, um, Stormtrooper. Now this is the figure that probably looks most similar to the uh, true vintage one. Uh, there's not a lot I could have done differently with this one. And it's probably one of the nicest looking, you know, it's a nice clean white vintage Stormtrooper. You don't see many of them these days. Um, unless you've, unless you know someone that's got a really solid collection of vintage stuff and they've had taken a lot of care of them um, in terms of people that collect them loose like myself um, it's hard to come across a really nice white stormtrooper um, so it's kind of nice to see one like this that's how it would have felt back in the 70s and 80s and now we'll lastly look at Luke I like that they've gone with the uh, bright yellow hair. Look at that figure. Now I haven't looked to see whether they've done the... Uh... No, they haven't. I was going to see if they've done the uh, telescoping lightsaber. I didn't think to look at that earlier, but they haven't. Um... But I really like that they've stuck with the... The basic paint, paint, paint color selection there with the figure. Yeah, it's nice to get an idea of what these figures would have looked like in their heyday. I just like the aesthetic of the card, you know, it's, it looks worn around the edges. You know, just trying to make up the fact that these look like they could have been kicking around the shelves for a little while. So quite a nice set. I'm looking forward to getting the Tarkin. I should have that this week. So I'll definitely do a short video overview on that. Um, hope you've enjoyed this short little video. Um, just wanted to cover these figures. I think they're really cool. Um, I was, like I said, I was hesitant when they announced them. But now that I have them in hand, they're, they're pretty cool. And I can't wait to get some cases so I can put them in, in some star cases and display them somewhere. I don't know where. I don't have a lot of room. But <laughs> I'll find a way. Alright guys, thanks for watching and until my next video, may the force be with you.